I like to see it as a collection of small details um, that are very kind of that are very pleasing to the eye. It's almost hard. It's almost hard for me to think of it as a as one piece, but rather I will always tend to see it as a collection of small details because I spent so much time working on these really small up close details. Um, after a while, it's almost all you can see. <laughs> Uh, right, so my favorite parts are the very, very tiny parts that are very almost hard to see, right? So the uh, parting lines and uh, changes in the material finishes and very, very tiny surface changes and stuff. Yeah. So little details like the, the curvature on the edges of the scale that's supposed to collect the water, excess water, and the um, prevent your glass from slipping or the pattern on the drip tray we spent a lot of time trying to get the water tension just right so it doesn't stay on the surface but drops through um, yeah a lot of interesting challenges like the interaction between shapes so like the front assembly of the machine which is what I spent most of the time working with right it's like you have a square and then a cylinder on top of it and then behind it it's also like a collection of geometric shapes the whole thing is very geometric it's basically a cylinder stacked on top of a rectangle on top of a rectangle on top of a cylinder so we spent a lot of time trying to balance out the geometry of that and to make it appealing to the eye so a lot of effort went into making this more of a more sculptural and less kind of blocky right so there's a lot of a lot of time an effort was put into the connection between these separate shapes. So when you look up close, there are like tiny, tiny fillets that make it look more kind of finessed and more slim and more kind of interesting to the eye. It has a relatively simple shape and finish, yet it doesn't, it looks very refined and expensive. Um, yeah, so I guess that's that's like the stuff that I think about the most when I think about it.